Beer is a great motivator. A world-class chef creating a dining dynasty in New Jersey. There's plenty of appetites and there's plenty of opportunities. His story on bestofnj.com. I'm Christine Sloan with Best of NJ. A legendary chef is coming back to his roots, expanding his restaurant empire right here in New Jersey. I'm at Orchard Park by David Burke in East Brunswick. David Burke, celebrity chef and entrepreneur. David's restaurant empire spans the globe from New York City to Saudi Arabia. But during the pandemic, David began fully investing in New Jersey, his home state. One of his more luxurious yet approachable investments, Orchard Park by David Burke at the Chateau Grand Hotel in East Brunswick. He co-owns the restaurant with the owners of the elegant Park Chateau Estate and Gardens wedding venue next door. There's plenty of appetites and there's plenty of opportunities. So, uh, uh, and it's easier for me to build a company in one state where people I can promote and I can uh, transfer and build a brand. More importantly, if our brand is strong in Jersey, it's just as strong as it was in New York City. And, and you, you know, I think I, you know, you age out in New York City. Sometimes you need to go where the lemons, squeeze the lemons that have the juice. And the lemons with the juice are in Jersey right now. And you're saying the pandemic really changed that for you. You saw a lot of people moving here to New Jersey out of New York City. Well, the pandemic, uh, I moved down to the, I was living in Fort Lee in North Jersey, which is really like living in the city. Right, it's just, just a hop skip over the bridge. Then I bought a house down in Atlantic Islands. I realized how much I missed being in Monmouth County full time. And uh, then the pandemic hit. And luckily, uh, and we and we had the opportunity to buy the fromagerie back and the goat, which just opened, and the Dixie Lee Bakery. You know that came about. So I, I know I'm jumping around, but the opportunities in Jersey. We started realizing let's build a company that's based in Jersey. How? How did you survive the pandemic and how did you come back so strong? Fear is a great motivator. It's always been a great motivator my since even before I was a cook. And when you have fear, to me, it motivates me and it gives me adrenaline and makes me, it activates something. Fear doesn't make me go home and stay inside. Orchard Park by David Burke opened in December of 2020 during one of the scariest times of the pandemic. So we gathered the rest of our team. We had enough money in our bank that we could keep working. We were, we were scared. And then we took on opportunities. And we, you know, we just said, you know what? It's the, the show must go on. Orchard Park by David Burke has a European vibe, decorated in classic mid-century and modern styles. The restaurant also has a beautiful outdoor patio for dining, surrounded by flowers. There's also a bar and plenty of cozy fire pits to sit around. Well, it's called Orchard Park because it's an old apple orchard where there's farmland around here. So you were Instagram before Instagram was popular. Yeah. Food's fun and whimsical. How do you go about creating your menus? We put out a great menu. The price point is good. It's not a giveaway. It's not inexpensive, but it's not overpriced. There's a big difference there, you know? So we're very crafty, too. Creative is one thing, but then crafty is another thing by utilizing what you have left, like trimmings from the duck. So we make a duck and poultry burger, right? It's got caramelized onion and fruit, a little foie gras. We do a little pasta. We have great dry-aged steaks. It's not a steakhouse, but it's got American muscle, right? And it's got European finesse. Front and center at Orchard Park by David Burke, David's salt age beef, which he's got a patent on. His surf and turf is a favorite dish at the restaurant. On this day, the meat served with king crab legs. Crab meat lays up top, almost in your nose, and the steak's down below. It's like a... It's like a, a duplex dish. When you elevate food, people see it from a distance. So we designed something that is shareable. In this case, it could be for two, where the crab meat, you can both grab it. So it's almost like a hot raw bar where the crab meat is up top. And the meat, the juices are dripping down. The rack of lamb, it's a special occasion dish for a lot of people. And that has a, la a lasagna with it, with the lamb. It's goat cheese and merguez sauce. It's great. So it's an extra bonus, you know. It's not just grilled lamb chops you get at a steakhouse. So there's finesse here. The rack of lamb is the dish I am going to try.
Mm. Wow. There's it's just the meat is so rich, it's so flavorful, it's so juicy and tender. It's what you would expect coming to a David Burke restaurant. It's absolutely fantastic. So the lasagna is what I'm looking forward to eating. Uh, so this has got goat cheese in it, some lamb sausage. Mm. Mm. It just screams fancy. So I would say we have the strongest pastry program in the state. I don't know all of them because I didn't eat in every restaurant, but I know that we put more money and more effort and more creativity into our pastry program than most restaurants do because you don't make a lot of money selling desserts. You know, so if you're going to sell a dessert, if, if I have four people sitting at a the table and they order one creme brulee for 10 bucks and two coffees, I'm losing money. So we make desserts that are $18 or, and they buy two of them that are 16 or 18 and they feed four people. Now at least I got some money and I got a wow factor. The caramelized apple tart is one of the more popular shareable desserts here. Smoking cinnamon and rosemary on the platter enhances the flavor of the apple tart, which is served with cinnamon gelato. This dessert, I can just smell the rosemary, the cinnamon, it's just coming at you. The smell alone is just heavenly. Mmm. Wow. Where do you see David Burke, <clears throat> let's say five years from now? Slim, handsome, uh, <laughs> <laughs> swimming in a pool. Uh, I think that we'll have a strong company. I think we'll be into the fast casual market. We, the bakery is going to be a turnaround item for us. Uh, and uh, I think there's a TV show in the works and a culinary school, as well as, um, you know, uh, mentoring programs and uh, things like that. And I think there'll be other things in Jersey as well, like a hotel project. I don't see us derailing. Okay. And, uh, and I think our brand is respected and strong and it's only gotten stronger throughout the pandemic. Orchard Park by David Burke is open seven days a week for dinner. They also have lunch on Thursday, Friday and Saturday, as well as a Sunday brunch. I'm Christine Sloan for Best of NJ.